Hello YouTube, how's it going? Retro Dave Nintendo back again, and yeah, this is going to be an updated room tour for 2015. Um, we're currently coming towards the end of March 2015. Um, haven't done a room tour for a good year or so. Thought I'd give you an update. A lot, of, a lot has changed um, in that time. So yeah, thought I'd just uh, give you an update really and show you how it's looking now. I know um, a few of you, if uh, you've been watching the channel on a regular, have noticed that obviously there's some new bookcases and things have moved like behind the camera um, so yeah I thought I'd just kind of pan over and show you what's been going on so again we'll start the door um, we've got a little plaque there Mario 3D land like kind of like 3D poster um, you may have seen these before from the previous room tour some uh, bead sprites and these were made by ABC Start uh, apart from um, the Cooper Trooper and the one at Mushroom and the Controller was made by my little sister. Um, all the others were bought at um, a retro event, revival retro event, uh, a couple of years ago. Okay, so as we just go lower down, just got a heater there. Um, it's a CD case, all blank CDs. And here I've got like um, a little like tower. This basically has got like cassette tapes. Um, and stuff like that in there, cassette singles and stuff. I'll have to go through that another time um, with my music collection. Okay, I've got um, a brand new NES carry case, uh, like a storage case, to store your NES and some games. I've also got another one here, uh, which has actually got a Nintendo in it with some games. This is kind of what I take to like friends' houses or to conventions or whatever, and uh, yeah, set it up kind of in a hotel. So that is by the door, ready to go for the off um, whenever I need to. Okay, so we'll just uh, yeah go back up the top. Um, top of the bookcase, we've got a Leonardo Turtles Teddy or plushie. Um, and then you can see just behind there's some CDs. So behind there are like my um, albums. Now, as I pan across, you'll notice um, my Amiibo collection runs along the top of this bookcase. Um, I initially thought I might go for a full set, but then I changed my mind. I thought actually, I'm just going to collect the figures um, that I actually want. Um, I'm going to keep them in their packaging for now. Um, at the minute, I don't have a Wii U, and I just like them as models, so they're just going to stay as they are in these uh, packages until I make the decision whether to open them or not. Um, my latest arrival was uh, Toad. And as you can see, um, lots of CD singles and some albums, they kind of run all the way down the back behind these Amiibo. So if I want to listen to a CD, it's not a problem, I can just move these out of the way. Um, and I'd rather look at the Amiibos and CD spines. So I'm just going to pan quickly across the top of the bookshelf. We've got a World Nintendo Mario figure. Uh, Gremlins Dancing Gizmo. Had him for some years now. Um, he is still in the car, but he has been out and used. Um, we have a, a striped gremlin with some Kraftwerk 3D glasses, uh, courtesy of uh, Raz. Then around the side we've got a smaller little gizmo there, um, courtesy of Ian McGrath. And the McDonald's Happy Meal Mario figures are in that box. I need to, I need, I'm missing one from that set, so I need to get that sorted and um, yeah, get all those out on display. Right, so without showing too much, you can see there's a few bookshelves coming up. So we'll start back on this side, and um, we start with two Tomitronic 3D units, um, both box complete, fantastic condition. Um, I have recently uploaded um, unboxing and gameplays of both of these. Um, this is the one I originally had back in the day, um, and this is one my cousin had. Um, this is, was bought as a replacement for my original childhood one, which has recently started to fail. Um, I've still got it, you'll see it further down on this shelf. But I wanted a nice box complete one to replace it. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of it, I'm going to keep it. But yeah, this one just kind of is uh, nice to have in the box. Okay, so this is like a skinny bookcase. So as we go down, we have um, two Turtles um, vehicles. We have the Cheapskate and the Turtle Cycle. Um, both box complete, apart from the Turtle Cycle, which is missing um, the... Uh, what's it called? The little bucket on the front because that that was gone with the elastic band, was obviously perished over the time. Um, so yeah, both in there, complete apart from that. A couple of uh, little turtles badges and the tops um, trading cards 
um, I got for Scott Sager sat and Connie sent me those. Down to the next shelf, we have um, a nice uh, addition to the collection. This is a Donkey Kong Junior tabletop. Um, it's all in the box, missing the instructions, but yeah, it's in lovely condition. Um, there's an unboxing gameplay to come up for this at some point in the near future, so you're keeping out on that. Then we've got two, uh, the history of the Nintendo books. Um, one is just on Game & Watches, and the other is history, so that goes from 1889 to 1980. And this is 1980s, 1991. This is this basically just covers game watches. This one's hard to find, um, and I had a bit of a nightmare trying to get it. But yeah, really happy to have that book. So that's kind of um, that shelf. So next shelf down, bit of a mishmash. That is the original Tomitronic 3D back there, um, my original one back in the day. Um, yeah, it, it works, but the left uh, button has started to uh, works. You know uh, when it wants to. We have the Konami um, Turtles LCD game and the Turtles 2 Splinter Speaks. I had both of these two back in the day. Um, still pretty cool to play every now and then. Uh, remote Control Mario Kart. I did um, a video on this. This is a new out. It's Mario Kart 8 and it actually drives on the wall and ceiling. I kind of bought it to see if it would actually do as it says and uh, yeah, it does. It's uh, quite impressive. So we've got some um, Merlin Nintendo stickers from the sticker album sadly i don't own the album as yet these are all duplicates um for those of you that have been watching the channel for some time will know that i made a couple of collages um that i've got in clip frames which we'll see later on um of those just some aa batteries for the tamitronic and a bart simpson uh, badge okay so further down we've got some uh not game related but i like a bit of um old school hardcore drum bass kind of thing happy hardcore so dreamscape help skelter tape packs reside there so we'll go back to the top of the cabinet and we'll move across uh, to the next shelf which is my game boy shelf so as you can see i've got some nice boxed pieces on display at the front um, and then kind of behind there's some uh, more you can just see those there again this needs to be rearranged and there's a little basket there that has got all the loose carts in so yeah, the Game Boy Collection does need um, a few more box complete games to be upgraded from the carts that I've got, but yeah, they'll do that at a later date. So that is kind of the Game Boy shelf. Next shelf down, we have some um, of the uh, nicer, rarer um, display pieces for the Super Nintendo. Um, Big Box Super Metroid, which is the PAL version with the player's guide. We have um, a cartridge copy of Earthbound in a custom case. Cartridge copy of Final Fight 3 in custom case. Cartridge copy of Castlevania Dracula X in custom case. Um, cartridge copy of Aero Fighters in a custom case. And uh, box complete PAL Mario Paint with the pad, the mouse mat, everything in there. And that's cool. So that is kind of like that little display for that shelf. Okay, next shelf down is my game and watch shelf. Um, so we have a factory sealed. Legend of Zelda wristwatch, factory sealed Tetris wristwatch, um, an opened Donkey Kong wristwatch, an opened Mario 3 wristwatch, that's the one I would have had back in the day, um, and factory sealed mini classics, um, that is Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, Club Nintendo Ball uh, re-release, that's uh, brand new. Recent edition, Game & Watch Panorama Screen Popeye, got that recently. Uh, Mario World wristwatch, actually doesn't work, I got given that at um, Blackpool last year. Um, so yeah, I've kind of got that as a display piece until I can find a working one. Another new item in the collection is the Fire Game & Watch. Um, they've recently done an unboxing gameplay of this. Couple of loose uh, multi-screens, Bomb Sweeper and Donkey Kong 2. Uh, the Mario Brothers Game & Watch. This is the one that I would have had back in the day, just the only one. And Box Complete Zelda. Okay, moving down to the next shelf. We've got some old school films and DVDs and some action figures. Um, got a Mario Brothers DVD, courtesy of Richard Turner. And um, the Turtles trilogy of films, uh, courtesy of Kieran Game Boys are awesome. And um, we've got some Turtles cartoons and DVDs at the back there you can just make out. Um, and then we've got some action figures. And these still work. So Mumra from uh, Thundercats, uh, Eyes Light Up, uh, Lino, uh, Skull from the Supernaturals, um, he's like a holographic, I'm not sure if you're about to see, but he's got, there's an eyeball in that 
shield, but not going to be able to see it because the light's a bit rubbish. But you can see the skull face, glow in the dark sword, and uh, Grizzlaw from He Man. So, yeah, I'm just kind of picking up like the odd few figures, I'm not going too crazy. Um, but yeah, just picking up a few figures for the display. Next shelf down, um, I'll pick these up um, locally. Uh, basically, new on card Ghostbusters, um, uh, what are they call the Fright, is it Fright Features um, series? There's, I'm missing the Wolf, the Saber Wolf. Um, not a big deal, but I've got these cheap. These were basically ten pound each, so I thought I kind of might as well buy them um, because they were new at that price. I wouldn't normally have bought new on card. I'm not really fussed. But for that, though, they were ten pound each. I thought you know it'd be rude not to. So I've got those. Um, these are original, my two original figures from back in the day. My mum, my mum actually found these in her in her cupboard. Um, Slimer. Um, yeah, and a couple of figures and a couple of cards. Got the cards from Kieran. Game Boy's awesome again, and a couple of Ghostbusters pin badges. That's kind of two little figure displays there. Okay, next shelf down, we have a couple of box NES Advantage, NES Advantage joysticks. One's brand new in the box, um, never used, and the other one is currently unboxed and in use. Now the lighting's really poor, I do apologise. There's a couple of mugs there, the one on the left hand side um, came from Ian. Herbie S007. There's a Mario tin there, which was, yeah, used to have an Easter egg in it. A Mario mug with a damaged handle, so I won't put any hot tea in that. A couple of little plushy mushrooms and a couple of mugs from Easter eggs. At the back there, there's a Super Nintendo Vantage um, arcade stick, which is currently in use. Box complete Super Game Boy. Um, some little Mario figures that are on my 30th birthday cake. Um, some cards. That was sent um, from Paul over in Canada, Cartridge Canuck. Um, Super Nintendo um, Commander controller was found in a local charity shop by my wife, which was pretty cool. Um, NES Max controller um, sent by Jay Cybersnake. So cheers, Jay, again. Uh, quality controller. Okay, so that is kind of, if I just pan out, out, you'll get to see those two bookcases in all their glory without going too mad. So. There we go, so that is that half. So now I'm gonna pan around to this shelf. So on this shelf, we have a Nintendo action set. Now this action set, uh, obviously the action, the action set is what I had back in the day. That was my NES system um, that I was got, that I got. Um, this one in particular, I bought off eBay in a bundle with a load of games. And it is, well, it's basically brand new. Um, it, it honestly looks like it's been opened played with once and put back exactly how it was so everything's in its bags it, it smells new when you open it um, it's in absolutely mint condition I, I, I mean yeah you, you could argue it's new although it's obviously it has been used because there was games with it um, yeah but it is like the the cleanest mintest action set of I've ever seen in the 10 years I've been like collecting um, yes, yeah, so I'm really really happy to have that. So that kind of is kind of the stairs a display piece I haven't got it all set up and used. I'm keeping it as it is in the box So on this side um, we have all my loose USA NTSC NES cards, so I'm hoping you'll be able to make out some of these um, Captain America, Gradius, Jackal, Cold Warriors, Arkanoid, Gunsmoke, Punisher Mario Duck Hunt, Metroid, Commando, Cobra Triangle, Little Nemo, Dream Master, Balloon Fight, Pinball, Venture Island, um, A Nightmare on Elm Street, G.I. Joe 1 and 2. So they're the loose carts. Um, I do plan on replacing those box complete copies. So moving down to the next shelf, we have a PAL Deluxe set with Rob the Robot and all the attachments. Again, this is all fully complete with all the bits and pieces, paperwork and whatnot. Um, that little box just there has the attachments. Let's see if I can open this up uh, real quick. If it's going to open easy, I don't know. I'm not sure if you're about to see in here. But they're basically all the parts for stack up, all the uh, coloured uh, rings and stands for Rob. So that is where they live. So the stack up parts just live in that box there. And then we have my loose cart. PAL 
games. So Marble Madness, RC Pro Am, the damage enable, that was courtesy of Donovan Viper, um, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, Mega Man 1, Star Wars, Paperboy, Adventure 1 Part 2, Bucky O'Hare, Excite Bike, Boulder Dash, Monster in My Pocket, Trog, Captain Skyhawk, Ghosts and Goblins, Double Dragon, Mike Toss's Punch Out, Mario and Yoshi, Tetris, Flintstones, and The Simpsons Bar vs. The World. So I do intend on, again, replacing those for box complete copies as and when I can. Okay, moving down to the next shelf. This is my reproduction game shelf, my repro shelf. So I kind of, these are cool to have, um, but I don't really, I haven't got them mixed in with my kind of retail games. I know that sounds a bit sad, but that's how I wanted, I wanted these kind of on their own little display. So the ones across the back standing up, uh, Mario 2 is um, basically like lost levels on the NES. So this is the actual Japanese version. Now these, these ones at the back here all came from Time Walk Games, which are obviously no longer um, selling games, unfortunately. Um, so you can't actually get these unless you get them second hand. I bought these a couple of years ago when they obviously were up and running. Um, so yeah, Mario 2, Mario Adventure, uh, Extra Mario Brothers, uh, The uh, Legend of Zelda, uh, Outlands, uh, Splatterhouse SD and Sweet Home. And then as we come out here, we've got a couple of SNES reproductions. We've got Brutal Mario World and King of Dragon, sorry, King of Demons. Uh, two reproductions of Nintendo World Championships 1990 and Nintendo Cabbage Challenge. These are from Retro Zone. Um, they come up of sale every now and then. This one's the harder one to find. Um, luckily, I found that on eBay and I, yeah, I couldn't believe I see it on there because I've been checking Retro USB website well all every week for the past about year and then I've never never seen them for sale and just happened to spot that on eBay. I was really chuffed to win that. Um, Star Fox 2. Again, another Time Walk Games release. Again, extremely hard to find. Um, again, I got this off of Pete's fantastic. So yeah, cheers again, Pete, for that. Um, yeah, it's a short game, but it's really good. Um, I really, I think they should have released it, but unfortunately, they didn't. Okay, next shelf. Um, we've got some highlights in here as well. We have a. Um, is this the Power one or the USA one? No, this is the Power one. So yeah, the NES version. So this is the PAL challenge set. Um, this one is in fantastic condition. Again, this is like really, really lovely condition. Um, an old Mario card there and a tag off of my cap. Then we've got a uh, loose cart of Chip and Dabbish Grangers 2 in a universal game case. Um, Flintstones, Surprise Dinosaur Peak. Uh, that is the, this is, that's the PAL Italian version in a, a universal game case and the USA version of Little Samson in Universal Game Case. So next step down, we have a USA challenge set. So I know they're both the same, but that is the American one. Um, and this American NES is actually currently set up and in use. We have, I've got this for Christmas. That's actually a Dr. Pepper soap. So it smells Dr. Pepper. I've got that for, my, uh, for Christmas of my brother. It's really cool. Um, digital soaps, that's where it came from. Got it imported. There we go. Uh, a little pin badge as well came with that. Okay, so here we have a um, boxed with no manual um, Mighty Final Fight on NES. Um, a boxed almost complete Action 52. Just missing the Cheetah Men uh, cartoon comic book. Uh, reproduction of Cheetah Men 2. This is the re release um, that has been mentioned, knocked about the internet a few years ago. Um, Active Enterprises um re-released basically this game well not been the prizes you know um it was remade um so the game could be finished i think i've done a gameplay of this if not i'll have to do one soon but yeah really happy to have those okay so we'll move up to the next shelf so we'll go across again another skinny shelf this is uh, rob the robot this is out of the duck set um full working order it did have an issue with the arms when i got it um, but i did actually post a video up on that how to repair it i managed to work out why it wasn't working and um, so now it's in full working order we've got a box box complete gyromite and a boxed stack up um sorry a loose cart stack up in a custom case um yeah we've got a spare nest controller there gyros at the back so yeah rob um he's obviously not used very much but he's a cool display piece um, yeah, really happy to have him on top of the shelf there. 
Next shelf down is a box complete uh, power glove. Um, this obviously has been used. I've got it out of the box and had a go on it. It's not the best, we all know that, but now it's a cool, um, a cool display piece to have. Next shelf down, this is a, a real unique item. Um, this is a signed NES, um, which I got done by Luigi Freakout123. Uh, Terry Tyler, again guys, if you're watching, thanks again for this, really appreciate it. Um, they were at the Portland Metro Gaming Expo uh, last year, 2014. And uh, I sent them um, an M82 loan cartridge and in return, they got me a signed NES by some of my favourite YouTubers, including themselves. Um, Joy Millennium, Happy Console Gamer, NES Complex, Retro Liberty Aaron, Pat NES Punk, uh, Pro Jared's on there, Nintendo Doctor, would beat them up. I've got a list of everyone that signed it. Um, but yeah, that's just, um, that's just awesome. That, that is, uh, it's just a unique item to have in the collection. Really, really happy with that. So again, guys, if you're watching, thanks very much. Again, Ness is fully working. Um, I did have it set up for a little while, having a go on it, um, but I decided that I'm just gonna keep it as a display item on the shelf. Um, there's like a, they sent me like um, the program of the event and one of their t-shirts, uh, poster. So this is basically like a Portland Metro Gaming Expo shelf. That's kind of everything they sent me. Um, I bought a couple of loose carts of them as well for my travel carry case, um, so I can't show you those right now, but yeah, they've got a few games of them as well. So that's great. Okay, next shelf down. We have a spare uh, USA Super Nintendo. This um, was in a trade from Paul Cartridge Canuck. Um, Mario All Stars is in there because I've actually got a Mario All Stars VHS video. I know with Paul sent me um, the Mario World, so I put Mario All Stars in there because it goes next to the video, so that's pretty cool. Next shelf down, we have um, a very unusual item here. This is a Club Nintendo. Um, or if you're in America, Nintendo Power. Competition prize, um, I've got this off eBay. I remember seeing these in the magazines. These are Club Nintendo magazines. This is the UK equivalent, the European equivalent of Nintendo Power right here. This isn't a full set, I'm still missing a few. Um, I managed to source some of these off eBay, but um, a large portion was very, very, very kindly given to me by John, one, one MSX to go. Um, again, very grateful for those um yeah just i couldn't believe it when he sent me his original magazines really really chuffed um and they're all kept in plastic wallets lovely looked after uh, yeah really love those and this was a prize that was given away when you entered into the competitions in the monthly magazines like for drawings and stuff um i managed to find a boxed one with the game it's clue clue and there's written on in pen so they're all the boxes were like universal and whatever the game they were giving away, they just wrote it on the box and chucked it in. And that was that. So yeah, really happy to find that. It's quite an obscure thing. Again, obviously it wouldn't have been available for like retail. Then I've got a little Mario figurine there that my friend gave me a couple of years ago. Now probably the, the rarest, most obscure collection in my collection, if you like, is these um, Nintendo M82 loan cartridges. So the front off there's a there's a selection there there's 24 i've got 24 i did sell some um so these are basically loan carts that were issued by um bandai in the uk to basically be displayed um in shops for people to play the get try the games out um before they buy them on the uh, m82 display unit which is in itself is extremely hard to find um but yeah really pleased to have those i mean i've got these at a fantastic a fantastic price i mean people that um the guy that sold them obviously didn't know what he had and it turns out these came from um a family friend which is an, was an ex nintendo employee and these were discovered um in her loft um so she didn't know what she had and i bought the whole lot with a system um i think it was 120 something quid delivered um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy with that. Um, so the games owe me nothing. I've sold recently 20 odd of them. Uh, yes, they, 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 they actually have made me money. So yeah, really happy with those. Um, the most obscure thing in the collection, without a doubt. Um, yeah, really pleased with that. And then below that, we've got like um, a little display thing, the draw. We've got a zapper in there and a controller. And this is empty at the bottom. That obviously holds games. We've got a Mario wallet there. Need to use that, swap that out for my current one. Okay, so we go back up 
oh excuse the jerkiness so we're now going to pan across to the next shelf we have a boxed PAL Starwing Super Nintendo um, the console is not in here I've got the loose cart in there and all the paperwork but it's just missing the console itself then we have some um, Super Nintendo games a mixture of no it is all USA these ones sorry I apologize um, there's a Mario Land um, cassette single from back in the day there was a Maryland single released if you don't know it search it up okay we've got the American copy of legend Super Nintendo um, quite hard to find the USA one fantastic game uh, Final Fight 1 uh, Mega Man X and Batman Returns so that is uh, that shelf moving down to the next shelf we have a PAL boxed Street Fighter 2 Turbo Edition console again console in this one is actually in use um, so it's not in the box obviously um, but yeah nice to have the the box Street Fighter 2 music CD this came free on the front of a Club Nintendo magazine uh, sorry a Nintendo um, magazine system back in the day um, used to love listening to the the soundtrack so I was really happy to find this a uh, couple of games we've got Secret of Mana PAL version uh, Super Cools and Ghost American Snares Demon's Quest PAL box complete with a rip on it unfortunately Super Alest PAL box complete moving down to the next shelf we have um, some USA SNES games some uh, choice titles in here um, box complete Peacekeepers I mean, a lot of these have come from um, Pete SNES Tastic again Pete appreciate it um, Captain Commando uh, did a video in that already uh, Knights of the Round Final Fight 2 Joe Mac Axley Skyblazer R-Type uh, Super Empire Strikes Back and uh, Return of the Jedi uh, Super Token R-Type 3 Turtles in Time Castlevania 4 Contra 3 and Super Mario RPG all box complete all in fantastic near mint condition so yeah got those displayed there really uh, enjoy looking at them Next shelf down, we have a uh, Super Mario All Stars PAL snares. Again, this box is empty, and this is the set I originally had back in the day. Um, so yeah, really enjoy the box for that. Again, Mario Land single. This time on CD. Found that local charity shop. Really happy with that. Love the artwork. Um, hence why it's displayed as it is. A little uh, mishmash of games here. We got Tetris, Doctor Mario, Super Smash TV. Uh, Nigel Will Mouse was World Championship, uh, courtesy of Scott Sank something out again, thank you. UN Squadron, courtesy of Daz, Holmes Delora, we did a trade of that with my Wii U. Uh, another system variant, we have the Mario All Stars and Super Mario World Power Snares. This is box complete all in there. Um, got this off J Cyber Snake once again. Tetris um, CD single, um, Super Mario Car. Uh, USA version, Super Off-Road, Star Fox and Super Double Dragon. So that is oh, all of those shelves. So if I now pan out you can kind of see how this looks. Again quite pleasing to the eye. I'm sure you agree. Really enjoy coming out and just sitting out here looking at this. So that is all what you've seen so far. So when I pan around to this wall space, we've got a Street Fighter 2 wall poster. Um, this poster, I believe, came out of one of the Nintendo magazines, and I had this on Bedroom Wall once upon a time. Really enjoyed the artwork. And I actually got this poster from Retro Game Base in London. Um, I went in there and basically done a deal, trade some stuff in, and I basically went in there and asked this poster. Initially, they didn't sell it to me. Went back in there a few weeks later, we do another trade. And uh, yeah, managed to blag the poster, including the deal. So really happy to have this on the wall. Um, we have the poster out of the Power Glove um, box. Just really enjoyed the poster for I'll put in a clip frame. So that is displayed there. Below that, um, Digger T Rock poster for the Nez. Really like that artwork. So I've got that displayed just there. Okay, moving across, we have a Mario DS holder, but he's actually holding some Nintendo Power Mints. A um, couple of Nintendo pens, these uh, I actually, not these original ones, but I actually won one of these pens on a Nintendo stand um, at a truck fest back in the day. And I saw them on eBay, I had to grab them. Um, fortunately they don't work, but they're nice little display pieces. couple of uh, pixel arts again, Link from the NES and the SNES. 
Then we have a tape to PC converter. Obviously it works as a normal tape deck, but it has the advantage of converting audio cassette to MP3. So you can stick cassettes on your iPod or whatever. Now we come down to one of my screens. This is a Sony Trinitron um, 20 inch PVM monitor. So this is um, like a medical monitor basically. I'll just show you up the model. So it's a PVM. 20 inch medical 2MDE um, quite a few options customizable options um, it has two RGB component inputs or we running on B at the moment and you can split the screen as well so you can have two displayed at once if you really wanted to and then the line in is basically everything else um, plugged into the back degores obviously for the screen um, under scan over scan don't really use them to be honest um, but yeah, it, I mean, it, it looks like it's flickering, but from where I'm sitting, it's looking absolutely amazing um, in RGB. Um, it's got fantastic, fantastic picture. So monitor weighs an absolute ton. So there's a there's an upright just there. I sacrificed a shelf, I had to cut it to prop this up to stop the um, stop this bagging down because it, that is that telly that monitor is really really heavy. So yeah, that's um, that monitor. Then we're moving over here, we have a Toshiba um, Plasma 32 inch TV and I just have the Xbox 360 set up on that, um, that's it, uh, that's just it, HDMI plugged into there, nothing else, all my other consoles run on that monitor I've just shown you, um, just a little retro clock, thought I'd uh, show you that, yep it's just gone 11 o'clock at night. Okay now moving on to some of the systems, uh, we've got the NES Advantage, uh, RK stick that I showed you the box earlier on, a USA NES, we have a Super Nintendo RK stick again, I've shown you the box earlier on, another USA Super Nintendo with Total Carnage in there, and a controller, PAL Super Nintendo with Street Fighter 2 which is currently on, um, PAL GameCube with Game Boy Player on the bottom, they're my PC headphones, a controller. Moving down to the next level, we have PlayStation 1, Fat PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, and then just at the back there in the bundle of wires is the Hapag capture device. Power Super Nintendo, this is the Mattel version, it's the, um, this is quite hard to find. Um, it's a smooth finish, completely smooth. This is the one from the deluxe set, so I've got this one set up and in use. This is a little Nintendo trolley, I imported this from America. Um, so this goes on there, bit of storage in there, um, Game Genie's in there, Zappa's in there, cheap book for Game Genie. Yeah, really love that, so I imported that and you can store some games. So ideally, it's obviously it's meant to, for boxed NES games, but I've got my loose Super Nintendo cartridges down here, so I've got like a few American and a few PAL titles there. I might as well flick out and show you what I've got. Uh, Sunset Riders, Shadow Run, Mystical Ninja, Rockwell Racing, Populous, uh, sorry, Parodius, Pop and Twinby, Mario All Stars, Power Rangers, and Micro Machines 2, and the USA games, Batman and Robin, uh, Mario World, Mario World, and Monopoly. So they're my loose USA games and PAL games. So moving down the next shelf, we've got um, some box for the PlayStation, Xbox 360 games. Um, there are some behind it as well. I need to reorganize all this down here. The Humble GameCube collection, this is it. And this is all I need. Um, I'm quite happy with the size of that. Some decent titles. I basically own the GameCube for the Resi remakes, the Metal Gear Solid, um, Snake's Revenge. Yeah, so basically all the games there, I'm really happy to own the GameCube just for that library. Really happy with that. Um, here are my PS1 games. Um, there are some obviously tucked behind the GameCube, I'm not gonna move it all out of the way. And at the back in the dark there is the PS2 collection. Um, again, don't use the PlayStation a huge amount, hence why that's the way it's, it's like that. Um, it's not a system I play often, but when I do, it's not a, too much of a trouble to pull this forward and get them out. Um, what else we got? Yeah, just some can opener and just crap down there that I don't really use. Um, underneath here we've got obviously the power supply, um, collection of players guides, some controllers that need cleaning, 
Retro Gamer Magazine, and my route is hidden under there, you can't quite see it, it's too dark. Then we'll move up across here, these are the Nintendo stickers that I showed you earlier that I've made into a collage, there's one there and one tucked behind there. This is a recent addition, this is um, my new gaming PC. Um, um, I can't tell you the specs off the top of my head, but I can tell you if you go and check out my previous video um, where I've done a PC unboxing pickup video. Um, yeah, it basically explains everything in there, what's in there. So yeah, go and check out the unboxing video for this if you're interested in the gaming PC. Um, yeah, that's all fired up. Looks nice on there. Got to move these pictures behind here, obviously, because this obviously went in very recently. So I need to remove those and move these across and rearrange this layout completely. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm doing this video now because there's some changes going to happen. So, speaker uh, for the surround sound. We've got a Pac-Man with a tin Nintendo cap on. And now we've got my Nintendo shelf, um, apart from the first two things you're going to see. And that is <laughs> Crisis 3 for the PC and um, Castlevania, sorry. Uh, yeah, Castlevania and Contra box set for the PC, uh, which is given to me uh, by a friend of mine. Um, we've got, right now, we've got some boxed, complete NES games. So I'm just going to scan across here real quick. Um, I'm not going to read all these out because I'm sure you guys can read. So they're all in Sentinel cases, so hence the glare. Um, I do apologise. So some are PAL, some are USA. Hopefully you'll be able to guess which ones are which. For those of you that know what you're looking at. Uh, heavy barrel is still factory sealed, and um, I do plan on probably opening that at some point. Um, what else we got? Yeah, so you can kind of get an idea of what's what. Hopefully, we're still in focus. And the two um, Power Glove games there, Glove Ball and Bad Street Ball, are both factory sealed. So that is um, the bottom box we put in this shelf. Now we're moving up a notch, and we're going to go to some Super Nintendo stuff. Um, now, all these games are faced out like this. Um, I like this for a reason, and that is because they are either games that I would have originally had in my original childhood Super Nintendo collection, uh, or they're games that I have some kind of memory of, or played, or borrowed, or rented, or something like that. Um, and when I look at it, it just brings back that memory for me, um, and I just enjoy the artwork as well. It's just kind of nice to have these games set out like this. So that's the Super Nintendo ones. Now I've done the same with the NES ones, the top shelf. Again, same same policy applies. I've either had the games originally back in the day, and it's nice to you know have that memory. And I look at the box immediately, and again, artwork is fantastic. Not once again, I either had it or rented it, so same story applies. So all these games are on the top. So that is that. So if I step back, you can take a little look at my uh, Nintendo shrine wall of games, if you like. And then the little setup there with the consoles and whatnot. And I just wanted, I just missed out this, didn't I? Another speaker down here. Uh, basically, all the retro consoles, so everything here apart from the Xbox, everything you see, is all plugged into this amp. And it, this amp is a Yamaha uh, DSP A5. So it's an old school 90s amp, but it's cheap and it's perfect for exactly what I wanted to do. So everything plugged in the back, literally, everything's on this selector here. So I can just basically adjust this to every system that you see here. All plugged into that. So no fucking around, unplugging SCART cables and pissing about. Turn the dial, bang, on it goes. So yeah, really happy with that. I think that's 30 quid. Uh, sadly, no remote control, but again, I'm sat right in front of the fucking thing, so I don't need to have remote control. So happy with that. Old school and it works. In here is like my cleaning drawer and cotton buds and baby wipes and bra and stuff like that. And in the bottom there, we have some spare controllers. So getting near the end now, guys. So I'm just going to spin back around. So going back to this wall again, another collage that I made um, out of those stickers. Really happy with those. Poster from Micro Machines, another Digger T Rock poster. As you can see, I really do like that one. Blind at the window, uh, plushy star, Link from Link to the Past, some figures, Pezzies, Mints, um, 
Nintendo toys basically a fire extinguisher because you just never know <laughs> you never know with the old stuff so it's there just in case um, we have some dreamscape flyers really like the uh, dreamscape artwork so I've got these slapped up on the wall here uh, two-seater couch gaming couch and some cushions I'm sure you might have seen this before uh, gremlins painting kindly painted by Richard Turner um, yeah, really, really uh, kind of you again, mate. I know you're going to be watching for that. So that lives on the side. That fits perfectly on the side of that Budweiser fridge. And here we've got some like DVDs, um, banger racing and crap like that, and DVDs of like my daughter and all that kind of. It's just basically like, I don't have DVDs out on the shelf, so they kind of the ones I've got are in there, um, and the rest are indoors. Fan. It's actually on at the moment because it's bloody hot in here. <laughs> um, I've got a Donkey Kong Conga Pack 2. Now, I actually bought this recently at a charity shop for a fiver. Uh, unfortunately, it's missing the game. So I've got this for my daughter to play on. Um, she likes uh, like music and playing games like this on the Wii. So I kind of saw this for a fiver and grabbed it. Got it home, didn't realise. Schoolboy error. The game weren't in there. Um, so yeah, I need to hunt out the game somewhere on eBay. I'm sure it will come up at some point. Um, yeah, then I can uh, let her have a bash on that. Then we've got a spare amiibo. This is a donkey cart. I actually bought another one to replace it because it's got a whacking great big crease down the front there. Um, obviously, I wanted it in the best condition I could. So that one will probably get opened at some point. I forget another Wii U, and that'll be one I use. Uh, wedding anniversary card underneath. So the missus don't see it. A um, couple of Gremlins travel pass holders. Again, they're just new because I like Gremlins. So my daughter's made a couple of fridge magnets for me and her with R007. Budweiser beer fridge containing a couple of buds, a Carlsberg and some Red Bull. And uh, yeah, um, this is uh, my tripod. So this is my camcorder tripod. But as most of you know, my camcorder has basically died. And then I bought this um, selfie stick recently from PC World. And luckily it's got a fucking screw at the bottom. It's fantastic. Threaded in to the camera, where the camera goes in. And then now I'm doing my videos in this, so I clip the uh, iPhone, which I'm using now, into the holder, and I can do my unboxings with this. It tilts everything. Um, yeah, so I don't use it to take selfies. I'm, you know, not part of the selfie generation like today's kids, but really handy for camera work. So this is what I'm using now for me unboxing gameplays and everything else. And I was actually using uh, Mr. Donkey Kong as my tripod uh, for doing my videos when I'm standing up. So. For my recent videos where I'm stood up, my iPhone is resting against here like this, and that's why you're seeing the view behind me. You're seeing that view. So this is where I'm stood. I'm stood here, and I'm, the iPhone is plonked on top of there. So that's coming quite handy. But yeah, now I've got this, I'll be using the selfie stick. Um, just a filing cabinet, a Nintendo rucksack. Um, this black ash table I actually bought today, and that is going to be plonked in the middle. And um, if I get some other systems and bits and pieces, um, I recently picked up a GX4000, so I'm going to be setting that up on there, obviously because at the minute I'm happy with how that is. But I've got that, it was a tenner, and I can just dump it in the middle, put the console on there, play it, and when I finish, pack it away, and everything's nice and tidy. Um, and that is basically it. So we're back to the beginning. So I'm just going to stand in the doorway and just kind of give you like a, like a pan. So this is kind of how we are. This is what we're looking at when we come in. It's another pan across. Nice shake pile, red rug. So this is um, an overview of the game room. From both sides. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, please feel free to thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me a comment, wherever you like. Uh, be nice to hear your thoughts and again if you've uh, got a game room or a collection you want to you know show off you know, or just share the work share with the world um, or other like money collectors you know why don't you do yourself a video post it up feel free to stick it in the comments below I'll be more than happy to check it out um, a lot of us like to see each other's collections in game rooms um, so yeah, it'd be great to see to see yours so guys thanks for watching thanks for checking out the video and uh, yeah, I, have, uh, I shall catch you again for another one very soon. Take it easy.